once, for once, the Ottawa Senators have made a big trade. Hopefully it works out, but what a day to be an Ottawa Senators fan. I got the gear on, I got the hat, I got the hoodie on. Welcome to the Ottawa Senators, Alex DeBrincat. The trade just broke 30 minutes ago. The Ottawa Senators acquire Alex DeBrincat from the Chicago Blackhawks for the seventh overall pick, our second round pick this year and then next year's third round pick. I think it's a great deal as long, and I say as long as Alex DeBrincat signs long-term with the Ottawa Senators. I know our problem's always been paying out the uh, paying out the good players, so hopefully he, this uh, we're turning a corner here, and the Ottawa Senators, we're, we're, we're turning into playoff contenders now. I think it's time. It's time that we're playoff contenders. The only thing is he's a little bit small, but... I'm completely okay with that, but let's look at DeBrincat's full career stats for the Chicago Blackhawks. So, rookie year, 56 points in, sorry, rookie year, 52 points in 58 games, followed up by a 40-goal season, 76 points in 82 games. A little bit of a slow season the, the season following with only 45 points in 70 games, but bounced back for 56 and 52. And last year, again, a 40-goal score, 41 goals, 37 helpers. 78 points so a really good goal scorer to help out this team because god knows we need all the help we can get but this is a super super sick move i'm so pumped i'm just jumping for joy i can't wait for the season to start now so what i thought is let's put alex de hat on the ottawa senators and simulate i don't know one to two years and see how he plays with the ottawa senators if they can make the playoffs and if he's the missing piece to the puzzle obviously there's a couple other pieces that we kind of need to uh, to make sure that the team gets a little bit better, but this is a great start. So let's look at DeBrincat on the team in NHL 22. According to EA's ratings, 88 overall, first line forward, left wing, right wing, sniper. His shooting category is pretty damn ridiculous. P uh, puck skills, really good. Skating, really good. Senses, discipline, offensive awareness, poise, all fantastic. Just not physical at all, which is what brings his overall slightly down. But on that first line now, we got... Brady to Chuck. In real life, it'll probably be something like something like that, I imagine. I think that's how it'll it'll kind of be more like more in real life. But for now, I'm actually gonna put do I wanna put Tim Stutzla? Is he a superstar? Not even a superstar X Factor. Okay, we have no superstar X Factor, so I'm actually gonna keep uh to Chuck up there. And we'll just leave the lines how it is, but DeBrincat will be playing in this version of, of NHL. We'll be playing with Drake Batherson and Brady to Chuck. So look at that. 22, 23, 23. I believe they're all one year older now. Josh Norris, 22. Tim Stutzla, 19. Connor Brown, a little bit older, but a really good player for the team. Fermentin, Chris Tierney, Matthew Joseph. Uh, and then we got Austin Watson, Shane Pinto, and Tyler Ennis. Defensively, Thomas Shabbat, Artem Zub. Travis Hamannick, Victor Mete, Nick Holden, Nikita Zaitsev. Realistically, we're going to have Jacob Bernard Docker, Jake Sanderson, and uh, and those players up in the league, I hope. But let's get into this. Let's get into this. I'm excited. We actually almost traded Matt Murray away, but he declined playing for the Buffalo Sabres. Can you blame him? I can't. But that is the team here and in the system. So um, I can never pronounce his name. Seski, Seski, Sensi Shin, Uh, Andrew Agassigo, Logan Shaw, uh, Scott Sabrin, Kastelik, so Sokolov, uh, Chartier, Parker Kelly, Clark Bishop, Wilkie. Not too many great prospects on the forwards, but defensively we got some really good prospects. Michael Delzato, definitely not a prospect, but Eric Brandstrom will definitely probably call him up. Jacob Bernard Docker, another good prospect. Lassie Thompson, and then we don't. I'm not even seeing. Um, I'm not even seeing do, do, do Jake Sanderson in here. So I'm actually going to go to roster moves. I'm going to add, go back to do, make sure I have everyone I want here. So that's good. Gustin can stay in the system here. Defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get rid of Nick Holden and bring up, actually, I'm going to get rid of both these guys. Mete, Holden, see you later. Confirm. So now we got them up there. And then forward, just to make sure we have everyone we want here. So, do do 21 skaters, and now I'm going to just remove three. So, Dylan Gumbrell, Austin Watson, and probably Adam Goddett. Yeah, we'll get rid of Adam Goddett. Or Tyler Ennis, which one? Let's get rid of Goddett. I like Ennis a little bit more, so. Um, Tyler Ennis. Oops, 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 we cancel. Goddett, boom. And now let's go back to 
the best lines here. Obviously, I don't think the team will still be the greatest because it kind of has some low ratings here. But I'm super pumped with this this new addition here. So we'll keep the lines like this. Maybe I'll bring up, try to get morale a little bit nicer. Colin White also got bought out, so technically still not on the team. I'll just bury him on that fourth line. Um, Shane Wright. Not Shane Wright. I wish Shane Pinto. Talianis. So Stutzla. If I can get Stutzla. Okay, I can do something like that. But I want Bastion playing that first line. Yeah, we'll just keep it like this. That's fine. Who's got a better face-off rating? 81. We'll put Josh Norris in the middle. But yeah, there we go. So I'm going to simulate the first year here. We'll see how they do. And depending on how it is, maybe we'll simulate another year. But welcome to the team, Debrinkat. Let's get into the video. But, uh, the first year with Debrinkat doesn't go the, as, as planned. You know, finished 26th in the league. Uh, 77 points, 35 points, 40 losses, 7 overtime losses. Leading the way in scoring was indeed, though, Alex Debrinkat. 74 points. Brady Chuck up there with 71. Shabbat, Norris, Stutzla. Batherson did not play that well on the first line. But don't get me wrong. I'm not expecting Alex Debrinkat to lead us to a Stanley Cup or anything. I think NHL 22 has some tough ratings for the Ottawa Senators. But I think it'll be very helpful. I'm not expecting the, the franchise to turn around and be absolute legends. But I do have high expectations of at least, you know, potentially contending for a Stanley Cup playoff uh, spot. So... Don't I, I know I'm excited, but don't get me. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. You know, insane. Like I'm not expecting to win the Stanley Cup. But if we do get Claude Giroux free agents too, that's going to be very helpful. Just saying, going to go a team full of, of short players. Love to see it. Washington wins the Stanley Cup. But let's simulate one more year here. So I'll go through the off season. I'm not going to pick up anyone crazy because uh, it'll ruin the simulation. But uh, we're going to go through the off season, and I'll, I'll find you guys in the beginning of year number two. All right, so what? It's no longer realistic, but I want to see the Sens do well and win a cup. So I picked up Johnny Goudreau in free agency. Basically, pretend like he's Claude Giroux, just a little bit upgraded. And Vinny Trocek, why not? Saw him in free agency. Signed him as well. But, you know, let's make the playoffs here. Let's have some fun with it. So Goudreau, Tim Stutzla, and Debrinkat. Absolutely no phys physicality on that first line. But a pretty good first line, if you ask me. And then we got Brady Tuchuk, Josh Norris, and Drake Babson. The current first line for the Ottawa Senators. And then we got Connor Brown, Trocek, Colin White. Again, just a line that's going to be so annoying to play against. And then for Menton, Chris Tierney. Actually, can I go there? No, okay. Uh, and then Matthew Joseph. And then defensively, we got Brandstrom and Shabbat. G oh, I got Giordano. I didn't even try signing him myself, so cool. Uh, and, J and Jacob Bernard Docker. Then Artem Zub and Travis Hamanick. So there's the lines there. And in the nets, we have Anton Forsberg. We'll put Matt Murray in. Um, but that's year number two. This will be the last year we do it. Kind of beefed up the team a little bit to make the video a little bit more interesting. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but let's see how Debrinkat can play with Stutzel and Johnny Goudreau. Let's go. Year number two starts now. You know what? Let's slow simulate game number one of the regular season. We got Ottawa versus the Boston Bruins. Let's see how it goes down. First period, zero to zero. Second period, two goals. For the Boston Bruins, Matt Murray, what you doing out there? Frederick and Eric Hall. Uh, okay, well, we got blanked for nothing. So let's pretend like that never happened and continue the rest of the season. It looks like we have made the playoffs, but we got one more game versus the Montreal Canadiens. I figured let's slow sim it and see if we uh, this time don't get blanked for nothing. First period, there we go. Johnny Goodrow. Second period, they get two goals. Gallagher and Jonathan Druin. And third period... They score a bunch. We get one from Brady and Connor Brown, and they score three unanswered goals, but that's okay. We made the playoffs, and that's all that really matters. At least I think. I hope. Did we? Oh, my God. Because we lost that game, we didn't make the playoffs. Oh, no. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. I didn't think we needed to win that. We lost the tough. Tough, 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 tough. All right, let's do a little recap here, though. Don't know how we missed the playoffs. I think the Ottawa Center is just cursing this game. 92 points, 44 wins, 34 losses. Ah, tough, tough. Leading the way, though, was Jonathan, or Johnny Hockey, Johnny Gautreaux. 90 points in 82 games. Debrinkat right behind, 76. And then Tim Stutzla, 69. Josh Norris, uh, Drake Babson, Brady Tachuk. Vinny Trocek, not a terrible year, but that's besides the point. The point of the video is the Ottawa Senators have acquired 
Alex the Brain Cat. How do you think the Brain Cat's going to play on the Ottawa Senators? Is he going to be a bust or is he going to be an elite player? Let me know down. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.